Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. And if you're new here, my name is Emily and I love to make videos about fashion, jewelry, lifestyle, and anything magical. In today's video, I'm co-hosting with Georgina and Zoe, my two guinea pigs, and we're going to be sharing with you a couple of bracelet styling, bracelet designs that we came up with with the Ohm Beads March release collection. I'm really excited to share these bracelet designs with you, and I'm excited to hear your thoughts on the new beads in their collection. The March release was a smaller collection for Ohm Beads, but each bead in the collection is very special. There's three beads total that I had the opportunity to design with, and I'm excited to share with you these designs. So if you're ready, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea. I am enjoying some toasted walnut from David's Tea. This sadly is a retired tea, meaning that you no longer can get it, but it is a delicious, delicious walnutty, nutty flavored green tea. And it kind of is a seasonal tea. I definitely find I kind of gravitate towards having it in the fall and winter season. And this is definitely a tea I really hope David's tea will bring back or something similar to it. It's just so delicious. And there is little hints of um, pineapple and coconut. So you might also enjoy this in the summer season as well, but I particularly love it in the fall and winter. With tea in hand, I am officially ready to start this video. Please let me know if you're enjoying a hot beverage or maybe a cool beverage down below as well. Also, a special thank you to Ohm Beats for sending me these beats to review. I do have an unboxing and first impressions video, which I'll link somewhere on the screen here right now in case you're curious to see my first impressions, my reactions to the beads. The first bracelet design I have to share with you was inspired by the beautiful new glass bead by Ombies called Goldian. This is inspired by the bird Lady Goldian, and this is an exclusive bead to Ohm Australia. This ultimately ended up being my absolute favorite bead from the release. I love the colors. It is so beautiful and it definitely inspired me to create a nature themed bracelet, which you're seeing here on my Dirty Ohm Twisted Bangle. On this bracelet, I also have a couple of my favorites, which are Heart of the Woods. I have Quiver from the Beasties collection. I have my special, special little Woodette holding the flowers and having beautiful little butterfly wings. He's like a fairy Woodette. And this is from the Ohm Together website. So there's only a couple like made in the world. So I feel very, very special to have him and I bet he was very extra lovingly made. I also have on the Ocean Love Clip, this is an unreleased bead. It was more of a test bead that was sent to me to review as well as host a Bees and Coffee event to get some thoughts and opinions about it. I'd love to know what you guys think of this clip. Um, what do you think is special about it? Please let me know down below. At this point, Oma's decided not to release it, but if you love it, definitely let me know because I can pass it along to them. Overall, I absolutely love Goldie and as mentioned, this is my favorite bead from the release. I love the colors in it, but what I also just really love is how beautiful it looks styled on a bracelet. When I first pulled it out, it looked like a hard candy, but after styling with it, you can just really see the nature element to it and it is just so beautiful and it definitely looks like the bird, but it also has like this little like subtle kind of light feel to it, which I really, really love as well. What do you think of the Goldian bead and how would you style with it? I'm really loving it on a nature theme, but I definitely can see it being styled in so many different ways. The next bracelet design I have to share with you features two beads from the March release, one being Cyborg and the other being Betty Buttons. I put these two beads on a bracelet that I like to call my fashion design school theme bracelet. This is on the Ohm Twisted Bangle in silver. Now Cyborg is a pretty special bead to me because when I looked at him, he immediately reminded me of my mood board and the inspiration behind my final collection in design school. And it's just, it's insane. Like when I pulled him out, I was just like, oh my goodness, this just takes me right back to my college days. So he represents my final collection. It was called Bionic Rapture. And I do have a, like I talk a little bit more about that collection in my other video if you want to see a couple more photos and pictures but I'll show a little little brief thing here as well so you guys can see that and yeah it's just it's really cool this bead um for my first impressions was my favorite just because of the meaning for me but Goldian definitely became on top just because I found myself wanting to wear Goldian so much um with the past couple weeks. Also on this bracelet, I have two glass beads by Ulm. These are actually in collaboration with Marthnik beads and I love them so much. They're called Orchid Rain. And one thing I love about them is the color and the colors are very special to me because it reminds me of the evening wear dress I designed in fashion design school. 
It was inspired by a scarlet letter. So I really love that kind of crimson red in this and that mixture of gold and little bits of blue because this dress had a ton of beadwork, including lots of bits of like gold and purple and white. So I really thought those glass beads really did a beautiful representation of that dress on here. Also on here, I have the I Love to Sew Bee, which is a needle and thread. It is so adorable. And I had to use the scissors from the Give a Heart Bead beside the needle and thread because it was just too perfect not to pair them together because in school, oh my goodness, I use scissors, a needle, and a thread pretty much every single day. So <laughs> I had to have them represented on here. And I love that Ohm has a variety of hobby charms. If you're not too familiar with Ohm, and Pandora or other bead brands, charm brands, don't have what you're looking for. Ohm has a ton of hobby beads and quite a lot on my wish list. Speaking of sewing, I also have Betty Buttons and technically my first sewing project was a frog, but Betty Buttons kind of represents him because she's so cute and she tends to be a lot of people's first sewing projects is a little rag doll or a little doll. So that's why I have her on this bracelet as well. She has a ton of adorable and cute details from her button eyes to her cute little bloomers and oh my gosh, the buttons on her jacket, like well I guess her little dress, like she's insanely, insanely cute. And I love that it was in collaboration with Omali, Om plus family equals love. So I, I love that they do that. I think that's just really, really special and really fun. The last bead I have to share with you is the Oh Mystery Project for the month of March. It is called Happy Grave and it's designed by At Fun Funeral, which is Justin Ernie, I believe is how you say his last name. I could be wrong though, so apologies if I am. <laughs> anyway, this is Happy Grave and of course he had to go on my Halloween theme bracelet. I love this bracelet because it mixes all my favorite bead and charm brands. There's Pandora, Camila, Ohm. Ohm is finally actually represented on here. I have ogre beads on here and I have corner 35. So I'm really happy to add Happy Grave on here. He's my first Ohm bead on here. And I also added two Ohm glass beads on here as well that kind of have a more kind of grayish tone to them. I'm not sure if those beads will stay on here. For sure, Happy Grave will, but I'm just not sure for fit and comfort if I'm loving it, but we'll see because this bracelet will stretch out a little bit. Anyway, that concludes the bracelet designs that I came up with and I'm just loving them. I've been wearing these quite a lot in recent weeks and really enjoying them. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on them as well as if you plan to get any of these beats from the March release. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Oh, and P.S. T-shirt I'm wearing, I'm going to link it down below because it was made by my really talented friend, Alina. Okay, anyway, you guys, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>